Zerk Musashi is a servant I've summoned on every single one of my accounts, all at different MP copies. Throughout all the testing, I can firmly say that the MP damage is what she was sorely lacking. Especially, and it's especially noticeable when using her at MP1. Uh, typically, you save the third skill that has her defense down for the final wave because you need to do the most damage. But that also has her attack buff. So even though it says it said that her damage was pretty comparable to Ibuki, that was only if you pop the third skill. You usually don't pop that in the earlier wave. Thus, she did have overkill refund problem going on throughout her normal farming. I know a lot of people wanted her to have a battery, but I am in Plushie's camp that if she got a battery, she'd just be a Buki without traits. And would you even use her at that point? If she's if she's not doing if she's like doing a, what a Buki does but weaker, like why why would you summon for Musashi? I know I talk about like parity between skills. That's between skills that have literally the same effect on different cooldowns. I don't agree with that. If a, if a skill has a dodge and a 30 battery <coughs> and it's six cooldowns on one unit and five on the other, I think that's a little bit of a problem. If they're the same skill, why are they on different cooldowns? I know lore reasons, but gameplay reasons, that shouldn't be a thing. All right, so let's break down Musashi as a whole again and her just her mp upgrade is very very nice all right so <laughs> the ascension most people are familiar with the side boob ah uh, this version of musashi it, like it's so funny that og musashi have only been able to summon her once and even then that was a snipe too like musashi is just one of those servants that i'm able to summon like fairly easily like she shows the same way if she's on a banner i'm probably going to get her uh and yeah like bit of a curse because other units are not like that that i really do like using uh all right base attack 12.7k this is super high he goes even higher because she's a berserker positive modifier um yeah, like attack is what the scaling starts off of, especially for a unit like this. Like it's, you're using black row with her most of the time and then Castoria buffs. Lots of attack scaling, the higher her base, sorry, the higher her base value, the higher attack scaling goes. So this being nice and high is a good thing. HP. She gets real anemic. Like, you have to protect Musashi so much. Uh, if you're using her with reins, she'll just take less damage. Uh, but typically, Tamamo for the healing because she does take a huge chunk out of her HP uh, from her own skills. But obviously, Castori is going to be on the team. So her getting hit shouldn't be happening too often. But even then, Musashi has stuff in her own kit that will protect her in those cases that she does not have solemn defense mp charge 0.51 percent she is a berserker uh just a reminder so she takes she gets more uh mp gauge every time she gets hit uh so multi-hit attacks it will charge her a good amount and that goes for any berserker and uh avenger both of them have really stupid gains when they get hit Hit counts or hits on quick technically or for most of the time three hits on the arts cards or hits on buster five hit extra attack if you get extra attack finesse this extra attack is going to do a lot for you it's not it maybe not the most stars but you will get a good amount of gain uh, especially if her second skill is up and do a lot of damage <clears throat> Like you like this is gonna hit like a fucking truck and 
nowadays if it's a saber she's fighting um it you might actually start hitting close to mp levels of damage uh for how much this would actually do all right first skill is one of her main survivabilities a dodge without a uh, duration and 50 percent crit damage for one turn this is on a four turn cooldown if you are running her with Tombomo, you have almost 100% uptime on this. Because of the cooldown reductions, you are not going to have an issue. Second skill. On OG Musashi, this has already been buffed. Not this one. And... This one, unfortunately, really does need the buff way more than OG Musashi did. Because... On OG Musashi, you just wouldn't pop this skill uh, until you actually had card. You don't have that option with Berserker Musashi. You have to pop this skill on turn one if you're farming because of the second part of the skill where she just gets flat out 50% MP gain for three turns. This is the imperative for all of her farming. If she does not have this, her refund is going to be so scuffed. The, the Musashi trait of this skill is she doubles her arts cards for one turn. Uh, normal attacking. This does not affect the MP. Oh my god. If this affected the MP, oh, she'd be looping one enemy waves. I don't think if they buff this, they're ever going to do that. But basically, it turns these in from 0.51% three hitters to 0.5% one percent six hitters if you've ever used a goal her arts card they're like they're about the same in value because a goal also has an mp gain buff when a goal get uses her arts card and crits on it she gets basically her entire battery or her entire gauge back musashi is the same way but she has two of them uh unfortunately this only lasts one turn that it's like this but this turns her arts cards into batteries as long as she can actually get them off. If she straight up kills someone with an MP, yeah, this doesn't have any value to it. I'm not sure if they will ever buff this and make it get rid of the arts card part and just make it three turns, just like OG Musashi. I do think that will be a little too much because this one i believe has better hit counts than the original yeah special like pretty much on the buster but then this would turn into a 10 hit extra attack and these are eight hit busters eight hit quick yeah no i cannot for the life of me see them ever removing this art card restriction only the three turns third skill which people apparently have a problem with uh i don't know why this this is like two skills in one i know people don't like losing hp but you're running with castoria like survivability is not your biggest concern and if eight, the healing is the pro if the damage is the problem again run tamamo and heal up or any other healer Asclepi uh paracel no sorry asclepius if healing, if this damage is that much of a problem, put uh, Asclepius on your party and then just heal up and then plug soon him out. But ignores invincibility, three turns, good. 30% attack, guts one time, three turns, 5,000 damage, reduces all enemies defense for three turns. This is the only thing that doesn't carry over. This is fine for farming, but are you gonna waste this on turn one? This is also where, like, truly where Musashi differs from Ibuki. Ibuki has a multi-core synergy. Musashi kind of doesn't. She's pretty selfish about her own shit. She doesn't have any AoE bu uh, buffs for the party. And she's also more catered towards a challenge quest. Ibuki, for all that she does, most of the gameplay you see of her doing, like, really good challenge quest stuff, is at least mp2 if not higher 
Ibuki has zero survivability. Her main survivability is killing shit until they're dead. I don't think the I don't think people would summon for a unit that's like basically a Buki, not as strong as a Looper, uh, and more like survivability. I don't think that's a selling point you want to have for a unit. Musashi does her own thing. You use her for different purposes. She's just really good at being able to loop from zero. He was always able to do that. I think it's fine that Ibuki has her own role and Musashi can take a backseat and focus on her actual role instead of brute forcing her into doing farming, which again, she can do it. There's no problem with her doing it. It's just that she's not going to be nearly as consistent as someone with a battery. That's just how it is. Would it be cool if she got a battery? Of course. Of course it'd be cool. But I don't think they're going to give her a 50 battery. She, does, she really doesn't have the space for it. Like, if they add a battery onto this, I think they would actually have to raise the cooldown for the first time. Because this, this all of this with a battery is a lot. It's a lot. I don't see them getting rid of this part or a battery. They put this part in to balance out how much shit they were putting on the skill. And this skill, I mean, I guess I could see them putting a battery on it. I, I could. It would be a 30, but I could see them doing it. All right, passive skills, 12% buster up for Madness Enhancement EX. Magic resist C, 15% debuff resistance, riding D, quick performance up 4%, and divinity for tickle. Uh, this has to do specifically with the Summer 4 event. Uh, if you look at OG Musashi, she does not have divinity. Yeah, it, it has to do with the story. Mana loading first. Uh, just, and this isn't even just for farming, this is for like setting her up in a challenge quest because she has to start from zero uh if you don't want to use literally all of your cast story buffs in one turn only on musashi you're gonna want this maxed out but for actual challenge quest purposes you would want this max uh level or at least unlock which is why mp2 for her is like such a sweet sweet spot because she pops the fuck off when she has this extra attack loaded up. High based attack that scales with all the other buffs. And then you unlock this and your damage just goes through the fucking roof. Like, I have seen how hard extra attacks hit in like some of my, uh, some of my farming. A lot of it is over 100,000. Uh, and some of those units aren't don't even have this maxed out or they have lower base attack than Musashi All right MP it was just AOE four hits reduces crit attack chance with which is a form of survivability if people can't crit you you take less damage I mean that just makes sense and then she has a chance to seal all all saber enemies mps for one turn so this was not to stop them from mping this is to stop them from getting any gauge to mp you completely stall out and make it so the enemy cannot like pop mps on you they can't charge up uh for my turn and because her mp is so spammable you completely suppress any sabers from actually doing anything to you. Instead of doing anything else, they decided to double down on that. And with normal damage scaling, they didn't touch this effect, but they gave her a 200% power mod against saber enemies. Wait. Uh... Is this, wait, is this saying power mod or super effective?
Whoa, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so I was mistaken. I could have sworn this was a power mod, but it is super effective damage. So that is both a positive and a negative. I really, I actually would have preferred a power mod, but I think that would have been crazy if you got a 200% power mod. Uh, so this is, this still hits really, really hard. 200% is nothing to scoff at, especially because she's a berserker. She's going to be doing 1.5 effective damage anyway. Uh, this, because of this, it doesn't completely kill the archer class. I think 100% if this was a power mod, or there would be zero reason to ever use an archer again. But with super effective, it's more for just breaking bars and just doing a little bit better damage. And this is pushing her into single target territory. Basically, it starts to come down to how good is this Archer Servant? And is Musashi's kit just straight up better than them? If the answer is yes, Musashi's kit is better, then you, I guess you don't need an arch, that Archer right now. Like, it's just in a weird, like, it's a weird state that an AOE Berserker is better than most of an entire class, especially she hits harder than all the AOEs. Like, she hits harder than Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Uh, let me bring up that sheet. AOE. Yeah. 47,000. Sashi. 66. If you multiply this by 1.5, it gets about 99,000. Uh, 99,000 and if you multiply Gilgamesh's by times two and this is just class advantage 94,000 she out damages Gilgamesh that has a niche against all uh servants including saber servants that I don't know what this is more about and then you also have to consider that Musashi would be using black rail and the gap just starts getting even bigger. Mats are... You need a lot of proofs, like Saber level. And then on her pens, they there's a lot of gold here. Bond CE, it's like, further pushes up the challenge quest uh, stuff. Buff removal resistance. 100% for three times. If you're fighting like an Amakusa boss, you just nope. You just nope them take uh them taking your buffs. Works for Jack too. Anyone that spams buff removal, this will stop it. I really, really like this servant, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that she is the most meta servant this buff completely changes her you need to drop everything that you're doing in summon for her nope uh she is very good but if you already have her you're eating good if you don't have her uh you don't need to have her she's just a nice servant to have she has good artwork um and she's just a funny servant she has problems beating the allegations and the, the temple helpers do not help it. Um, but, uh, from what I'm told, she barely appears in the Samurai Remnant collab. I was hoping they would bring her back, but mm -mm. she might actually, she might fully be gone. 
it is what it is but yeah i'm not gonna be summoning for her on either of my accounts there's just no point for me uh if you're already good on aoe loopers you don't need to summon for musashi if, like if you have a fully kitted out uh summer abuki you probably don't need her uh for looping and you might already have someone that can take over her role like more specifically but if you're newer you need a general looper to take care of you musashi can do it she can loop with shufu and uh castoria you don't need double castoria to get musashi looping all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.